Hello, everybody. Well, who all is here? Um, good evening, good evening, good evening. I hope you all had a blessed and wonderful day. Um, can you all hear me good? Hey, Joanna, how you doing, boo? Can y'all hear me pretty good? I want to make sure that my volume is good, that you all can hear me before I get to rambling and running my mouth. Y'all can't hear anything that I'm saying. Then I got to remember what all I said. Hey, House of Soul Rock, how are you doing? Let's go ahead and do something real quick. Um, okay, so I just want to make sure that you all can actually hear me. Um, you said it's a little crack in Joanna. Child, you know, I'm learning all of this stuff. Um, let's see if I can make it better. My little dog, I, I put him outside, but he trying to bark and get all in the show too. So I hope y'all don't hear him. Is it better, Joanna? What about now? I don't wait to see what y'all say. I don't want to get started. And then I better forgot what y'all I said and have to try to remember. I guess I found my blight while I wait to see what y'all say. House of Sora, is it better? Okay, so good, good, good. I don't know um, if Joanna's still here or not. And Joanna, I am definitely going to get that um, link and everything. I'm going to make sure that I give you all, all my entire selection of candles. Um, the candles are actually therapeutic. Okay. Try that's probably how I'm sounding because I'm tired. Yeah, my candles, they're, um, they were actually, I actually started doing the candles. Um, if you have, haven't checked them out, please go to um, my page and you can see them over there on my wall. I started out with the candles. They were pretty much therapeutic. Um, I was going through some things. I started making my candles and all of that good stuff. And I started making them and I made too damn many. So by me making too many, I had to eventually start selling them or giving them away or whatever. And the... um. Okay, let's see. This is a little better. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Maybe I need to fix this little mic a little bit. Um, yeah, I started selling them because I was like, nah, um, I actually use the gel wax and it takes so long to make them and they burn so long. I mean, you can get over a hundred hours of burn time out of my candles. Now, the scent is pretty good, but it's not going to be just real strong, like some strong cologne or perfume, you know, the cheap stuff. But it is a good scent. I customize the scent, the color, the jar, anything you want. Um, Joanna, I am so sorry, babe. Um, I hope it'll clear up a little bit. It could be my internet, is, you know, the weather's not that the best. So I'm going to have to switch my provider. Um, I was good with the one I had, um, but you know, I'll tell you all a little bit more about that because I really didn't anticipate on doing any live videos. Um, lives are definitely not my thing. Um, but I just want to say after my li my last live video, I talked with my people and all of that. And they thought, well, OK, well, maybe we should do a couple of lives here and there. So um, I decided and I'm going to tell you all towards the end where we're going to take my lives. They aren't going to be your traditional lives and all of that um, if you're B sector and I definitely got to thank the B sector, um, but they're not going to be the traditional lives. And I'm going to explain to you all what type of lives I will be doing um, once we get near the end. Um, definitely like Joanna, she already know what I'm talking about. She B sector down. And I got to say a big, big thank you. I love y'all, my B sector family. I don't give a darn. If y'all don't want me in the family, I don't made, I don't made y'all adopt me. I'm part of the family. I've been in y'all bushes for quite some time, and I really do appreciate you all coming through so thick the way that you all did. I was expecting probably like five people like I got here now when I did, you know, the other live, but you all showed love, you all supported, and I have to drop those channels of the content creators that came through, um, but you all definitely bear with me. Like I said, I'm new to this, um, going live and all of that, but um, I'm going to tell you what my lives are going to be more about. And my moderators, they're pretty much normal, regular, smegular people. My moderators are not YouTube people. They're not really versed on how to work to YouTube, how to be a moderator. I had one of my moderators tell me, 
Girl, I got some blue by my name. What that mean? I was like, oh, shit, we in trouble. But um, I'm teaching. <laughs> we learning. So you all please bear with me. Like I said, I don't care if we ain't got but one person in this room. And that's me if I'm just talking to myself. I'm satisfied with that because of what I'm doing. I'm really out here trying to get a message. But we're going to get into all that in a minute. I'm not going to hold y'all too long. But um, yeah, Joanna, girl, she she saw that blue wrench and she know what the hell it was. She thought she was in trouble. I was like, Lord, girl. But um, I'm working with them. So <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> like House of Soul Rock. Um, he came through and he's a little, he know how to moderate, thank God, because I would have been in some trouble trying to do it by myself. Um, but definitely, and I said, thank you all for coming. Um, and like I said, I wanted to thank the beef sector because they really showed out love and I am going to drop those content creator panel, um, channels that grace my panel. I really appreciate it. You know, when I was telling them to drop their cash app and all of that stuff, they were like, well, um, they didn't want to do it, but I mean, that's definitely my way of showing love. I ain't no rich woman, so I can't really pay you like that. But I mean, if you drop your cash app, if I say go ahead and drop your cash app because you're gracing me and you're coming over here talking to my people, you're dropping those gems and all of that good stuff, then that means that, you know, the people, they might not want to bless me that day. They might not be feeling what I'm saying, but they might want to bless you. So if I say drop that cash up, please go ahead and drop that cash up because, you know, that might be your blessing for the day. And whatever blessing is for me is for me. Nobody can take that away. That's like whatever blessing is for you. Nobody can take that away either. So when I say if you grace me and I say drop that cash out, the people may bless you, please. I mean, that's just how I am. So with that being said, um, I did want to, you know, touch bases on a couple of things. But before we do, I do want to say a special and formal thank you, y'all. I hope my Internet act right. Um, I got a most horrible internet company that I thought was the best because they were like a monopoly in this area. But come to find out, for them. So I want to start with um, thanking everybody that came through and graced my channel. And one of the people was Los, Los from House of Soul Rock. So I want to go ahead and drop his channel um, in here so that way you all can actually go ahead and subscribe and all of that and i know it's a lot going on on the b sector streets so we'll be lucky if we get about 10 people in here but guess what 10 people is good enough for me i ain't good enough to even worry about a big crowd anyway um so let's go ahead and see if we can get these channels dropped and all of that i would definitely thank you joanna thank you so much boo i definitely appreciate the support joanna and i i do want to ask you if you kind of um uh, because i know you're familiar with these streets and you know how things go you know, if you if you're looking into being a moderator or something like that, you know, just let me know. You know, I got you, girl. You know, Joanna, I've I been in the bushes with you for a minute now. You probably ain't seen me, but I've been seeing everybody. Um, they won't let you be great, Joanna. Joanna, let me find your channel. Well, well, let let's, let's help you be great. Drop your channel, girl. I I would want to support you as well. I definitely would love to support you as well, Joanna. So we need to um, drop you in here today too. And definitely, definitely. Let me go ahead and um, like I said, y'all bear with me. I promise y'all won't be disappointed if y'all just stick with me and we do what we got to do. So, Joanna, I'm going to find you in a minute, but I do want to give a formal thank you um, to the ones that actually graced my channel. So, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to start with um, the House of Soul Rock. We definitely got to get in. Miss Lady Nika, Miss um, Pizarro, or Miss N. Tell, um, we got to get in Brianna Simone. I appreciate it. So let me go ahead and find them and drop the channel. I mean, y'all, it's a lot going on in these streets, but um, that's fine. Y'all can catch me on the replay. I'm, I'm good with it. I play my commercials like Jay Wilson say. And I do want to bring more stuff to you all. Like I said, we're going to get into that at the end and I'm going to discuss that. That's pretty much what this live is about. And we're going to do a little bit. Um, of the new stuff in this one. So let me just go ahead and find the house of Soul Rock. I thought it was in order. Okay, house of Soul Rock. Oh, there you go, right there. There you go. So 
Now, this is Los channel. Um, a lot of people were intrigued with Los. He's definitely he's he's amazing. And also he um he he holding out on this too, y'all, because he's been canning some stuff and he's supposed to came on here and um gave y'all a video about canning some stuff. So I am definitely gonna snitch on him. Yeah, y'all, he he did some canning and he ain't made y'all no video. Okay, got you, Joanna. Um, yeah, I was um, uh, I was skeptical about the lives too, but um, I was given a great idea when it came to the lives, so I decided, hmm, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, but I'm gonna tell y'all about that now. I'm on my computer, so y'all that know, help me out. Now I'm on my computer, and while I'm on my computer, I went to the about. You know, your cell phone. You can normally click on the about and you can get the link. Now I'm on the about and I don't see the link. So let me go to home and maybe I could drop it just from home. Like this. Let's first. Let's see. Let's see how this works. So let me go back here you know, to my channel and I'm going to click on to see if this link right y'all. When I be hearing them say, drop the link, drop the link, moderators, drop the link. I thought it was just so simple, y'all, but oh, hell, it's not, it's not as simple as it looks, especially if you're not familiar with it. And one would think I would know because I did a lot of IT stuff, but it wasn't in this realm. It was way before all of this type of stuff. It was back in the days. I ain't that old, but it's definitely back in the days. Okay, so, all right, so I got you up there, House of Soul Rock, and let's go ahead and see how that posted. Um, you all, that's Los, if you go check out the live video, and me and Los, we actually did my first live video, so that was my second. The first live video was more of um, us talking about him, and I interviewed him, so I got to do some little edits to that video, and I do plan to put it back up, but in the meantime, you know, that other video um you all can go check him out get a feel of his personality i mean he was bold as hell he cammed up and everything y'all on there so y'all definitely go ahead and check him out and y'all let me know if that link is working for y'all in this chat i don't know if i did it right let's see if i click where it go let's see where it go if we go to house of soul rock y'all we in the game we learned something new already Let's see what happened. All right, Joanna, baby, we're going to put you in here, too. We're going to pop you on in here. Like I said, so much going on in these YouTube streets. We might not even get 10 people in here tonight, but that's fine. We gonna, Oh, Joanna said it works. So we in the game, y'all. Okay. So that is Los for House of Soul Rock. I dropped his link. Now let's go ahead and get Miss Intel Crazy Tail. She from my city, y'all, with my state rather. We both from Florida. So let me go ahead and get her. And then, Joanna, we definitely going to drop you in here too, baby. All right. So let's go and get Miss Intel. Now, Miss Intel, y'all, y'all come through and y'all be sick that I don't even have to explain who Miss Intel is. Y'all know that's Pizarro, crazy tail. Got to love her to death. I love me some Miss Pizarro, y'all. She's definitely, she's very sweet. I love Pizarro. So let's go ahead and drop Miss Pizarro. I got to, like I said, I definitely appreciate everything. And the beast said that came through here thick, like, if I ever become a rich woman, I got y'all. I promise y'all, I'm going to go through that live video. I'm going to hit up the ones on the panel. I'm going to find everybody in the chat. I saw Juana them, Diamond Dory, all y'all. I'm going to hit ODS. I saw all y'all in the y'all, y'all. If I ever become a rich woman, I ain't forgot nothing. I don't forget nothing. I'm like a damn elephant. I ain't biggest one, but my damn memory like an elephant. So I'm definitely going to hook y'all up. If I ever become a rich woman and I make a little change out of this. But right now, y'all, I'm kind of working for the free 99. So um, I have to hit my 9 to 5, do a little overtime, all that good stuff. Going from a two-income household to one. Those that been in the beef state around me know I say I'm single, single now. So, y'all, just bear with me, you know. But if things do take off, if God got us in his favor, then I got y'all. So, let's go ahead and drop Miss Intel. So, I drop Miss Intel link. 
And then next, we want to go ahead and hit up um, Miss Lady Nika. I mean, the lady and Miss Intel, she runs a spaceship, y'all. She drove the spaceship and her people on over here to visit us. Um, House of Soul Rock. I don't think he, he got a name for his group yet. Um, <laughs> definitely, Joanna. I mean, them candles, girl, they were so therapeutic. I was just reading Joanna's comment. She said, well, you said the candles. You know what? I could highlight this comment. Let me highlight it. Okay, so let's see. All right, so Joanna, I was, I'm with you, girl. It's like I love a good smell, and then just making those candles, they are made from scratch. I make the wicks, I pick out, I hand pick the glasses, clean them, put my own little caution stickers and everything on them. I make the wicks, um, I mix the smells myself, I mix the colors. Um, nothing actually comes the way that it looks. It's like a whole bunch of chemistry there, but you know, I took a lot of that in school, so that's really down my alley. But um, definitely. Um, it was the one I had it, I think last Thursday night. It was pretty much the one that says it's the 1K celebration. I went ahead and I wanted, I was like, I ripped the band-aid off after I left Pizarro Live. Um about a day or so later, I went ahead and ripped the band-aid off and did my live, which was the um it was just a 1K celebration, and I ain't gonna lie, girl, my internet was messing up and kicked me off and everything. That's why I really appreciate Los, Lady Nika, Brianna, all of them, because when I was kicked off, Lady Nika, not Lady Nika wasn't up yet, but Brianna, Pizarro, and Los, they carried my panel. I mean, I was kicked off. They kept the people entertained. They did the thing for me, and I definitely appreciate it. Y'all gonna understand, I am a stickler. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a big old, I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive. So, you know, y'all, I'm a teddy bear. Y'all got to bear with me on that. Definitely. Um, so let's go ahead. Now we got Miss Pizarro. Let's go ahead and get Lady Nika and Brianna, and then we're gonna get into the discussion, y'all. Let's I, like I said, I always pay homage and I appreciate it because they didn't have this to do. So we got Lady Nika. Lady Nika came through thick with the DMAs. Let's go ahead and post her. Alrighty. And, and Lady Nika's name, she the Den Mates, and y'all, of course, we're the pride. Um, like I say, I, I, I don't want to get too close to Lady Nika's name. Like Lady Nika don't want to be in there. No. But we're the pride because I was like, cat. And I'm going to tell y'all what my name means one day. Um, I picked this name because it's unique. It wouldn't have been my first choice, but it's a meaning behind my name. So I was like, damn, we got cats, we got men, we got women. So sh What's the strongest cat? So I, my first mind went to a lion pride. So that's why I say when you over here, you, you're part of the pride. So that's how we'll do that. And now let me go ahead and get Brianna Simone with Pettyville. Oh, my God. Just Brianna laugh for long be having me cracking up, y'all. So anybody that come in and watch this replay, if y'all not familiar with these people, please go and check them out. I promise you there's some really good people. So and then we got to go and get Joanna. Definitely want to drop Miss Joanna as well. Thank you, Joanna. All righty. So let's go ahead and get Miss Joanna channel. Okay. Let's see. No, this is Joanna Johnson. Hmm. Maybe I need it. Oh, oh, I forgot it. Uh, Ian, Joanna. Let's see. And I'm going to capitalize that joke, that W, like you got it. Okay, Joanna, let's go ahead and grab you up. You are Leo, Joanna. Some of the most closest people to me that I love the most are Leos. Okay, girl. Okay, now, baby, I'm a counselor. And I, I heard what y'all were, what they were saying about them counselors the other day. <laughs> I heard what y'all were saying about them counselors the other day. And we are emotional, but we got some big, big hearts. We are lovers. We are, we're sweet. So y'all don't do, don't do us counselors now. And, and we know all of us ain't no crybabies. Joanna, I can't call it the lion den because that's too close to Lady Nico. You know, so I have to go with the pride, you know, like the lion's pride, because I don't want to get, you know, too close to nobody else stuff. I mean, I wasn't going to name the group at all, but I said, hey, might as well. Uh, but just, 
just to get into some things. Um, just that so we got all that housekeeping thing out of order. And y'all, like I said, I don't really have a whole bunch of moderators, all that stuff. I will be monster people up if they're willing to take the wrench and all of that. And my moderators, of course, the only rule we got on this channel is no blocking. Don't block nobody. You want to drop your channel, drop your channel. If they get real ignorant, they want to act stupid, just have a, a tag team party timing their ass out. You ain't got to block them because one day my message might reach the fool and they might want to come back and watch the knowledge that I try to drop to them. Because this channel is all about dropping some knowledge. Yeah, them counselors, they they a trip now, but um, I promise we're some of the most lovable people that you'll ever meet. I know I am. I can't speak for us, but I am. But, um, yeah, definitely. So, um, and also one of the biggest things I want to say before we get into anything, I be seeing a lot of comments on my videos and a lot of people be saying some things that are negative towards this generation of European or Caucasian Americans or white people, you know what I'm saying? And I have nothing against white people. So let's be clear on that. Um, let's be very, very clear on that. Um, Joanna, let me go on my jewel up, baby. I show, I show will. I show will. Hold up, Joanna, let me go to this other screen. I can suck a my jewel up, boo boo. And if you ever need anything for me, Joanna, just let me know. All right, so let's get this. Okay, so let's get back to what I was saying. Like, you know, my white people, I'm sorry. Don't be offended. I'm calling y'all my white people. Y'all call us black, so, so don't get offended. But I do want to speak to say, um, please don't get it misconstrued because you got to understand, yes, I make videos about black history. Yes, I make videos about slavery. Yes, we were definitely did wrong on, on so many aspects. Ain't no way around that. But with that being said, we can't blame the new generation for what their ancestors did. I mean, you better sweep around your own front door before you sweep around somebody else's because you don't know all what your ancestors did. Your ancestors could have very well owned slaves. Don't y'all think that, that you know, it, that stuff don't go deep throughout the bloodline. We're going to get into a whole lot of it. That's one of the main reasons why I also um, probably won't cam up or show my face. Because y'all won't believe you. I've been getting a lot of threats and everything. I mean, when I first started doing my videos, I had people tell me that, I was going to disappear if I didn't stop making my videos. And I was like, bring your bad ass on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's God's plan. When God ready for me to leave this earth, I will. But I ain't never been scared of nobody. And I, I'm not going to start today. So with that being said, y'all, don't get angry with white people or Europeans or Caucasians, whatever you want to call them. Don't get mad with them for what their ancestors did. Um, and that's because that's not what my videos are about. So we just had to get that out of the way and get that in the clear and in the open right there for you all. Now, whether you agree or not with what they're saying, that's why I made my channel is to where we can agree to disagree. Now, I don't know about y'all. Okay, let me get this right. Make sure I ain't breaking up. Okay, Joanna said I was breaking up. Is that better? Probably because y'all, I talk with my hands. I'm over here just moving my hands, talking shit, you know, all that good stuff. I talk with my hands a lot. Is it sound great, y'all? I'm like, I'm black back up. Wow, I'm waiting to see what y'all think. Y'all talking about y'all very emotionally all committed. Oh, hell yeah. Stuff like that will get somebody hurt. Don't play with my feelings. I'm a big girl. If you don't want me, let me know. Oh, let me highlight this. If you don't want me, let me know. I'm a big girl. I can take it. But if you start playing with my feelings, what about now, Los? I think my internet was acting a little stupid because the little Wi-Fi thing came up. Is it better? Oh, yeah, Joanna, too. When I'm getting ready to fight, well, when I used to get to fight as a child, I used to cry. That don't mean I ain't going to rat a tat tat on that ass, but I might cry while I'm rat a tat tat on that ass. Just saying. Okay, I just want to make sure y'all can hear me. Okay, so back to what we were saying. Um, now definitely um 
we can have a difference of opinion over here. We do not have to agree on everything. I am me, you are you, they are them. So that means we are probably going to have a lot of different opinions, different viewpoints, different ideas. I don't know what the heck that happened to this country to where people feel like they can't disagree. It's like, if that's the way you feel, I got to feel the same way. I can't disagree with it and say, okay, if that's what floats your boat, it won't sink my ship. You over there, I'm over here. That's cool. We got so damn sensitive in this country to where you can't disagree with somebody. And I'm, I'm straight sick of it. So if you want to disagree with me, please do. They're going to hurt my feelings because guess what? I'm not going to always agree with you. But we should be able to agree to disagree and meet in the middle. Ain't no need for cussing, screaming, hollering, yelling. If I don't agree with you, okay, you don't agree with me, fine. I mean, you ain't no better than me. I ain't no better than you. So why should it be my way? Why should it be your way? We'll just meet in the middle. So I just wanted to say that as well. If you don't agree with some shit I say, let me know. And we'll discuss it and we'll chop it up. No problem. No issues. I'm cool with it. So I just wanted to say that right now. Do not put the burden of the ancestors or what the former white people did on the newer generation because believe it or not y'all this newer generation of white people europeans my caucasian friends they support this channel they love to hear this history and a lot of them say like wow you know and they do they try to take the fault and blame for their ancestors which they shouldn't but they do support this channel so with that being said, I mean, we all going to kumbaya and be cool. As long as we don't disrespect each other. Now, I'm cool. I'm calm. But like Joanna, like we say, when the tears come, we act a fool. So please don't make me act a fool on this internet. Because I do want to keep my composure. So with that being said, let's keep on trucking. So we already talked about whether we agree or disagree. Now, I do want to... um play a little video for you all um, so we can discuss it because I've been getting a lot of good comments when it comes to um, a particular topic that I did. So that was the main reason for this live tonight. Now, the main reason for this live tonight was because, oh, let me go ahead and make you my mind. Okay, there you go. Yeah, Joanna Child, I don't think as many bush watchers in here tonight because you know the beast sector is um it's a lit right now, and that's fine. You know, I don't mind people going back watching the playback when they got a few minutes and got a little time. I know I have to grow, I know I have to hone my craft and all of that. Um, but that's why we're here tonight because I did do a video and um I did get some comments on the video, but when I made the video, I knew. I was going to get the comments on the video that I got. The reason why I knew I was going to get those comments and those questions was because I had the same damn questions. But I was going to put the information out. And if you look at my title, I'm talking about my video over Thomas Jennings. Now, Thomas Jennings, I do want to play the video for you all. I don't really want to tell you all what I discussed in the video. I want to see if we can play it. Um, because, um, like I was telling the person in the comments, don't discredit the message because of the comment that they made. I'll tell y'all in a minute. But, um, and that's another reason why a lot of people that came up, and I feel like, like this, no matter how pretty I look, no matter how fine I am, no matter how dressed I am, and all of that good stuff, people find a reason to pick apart the messenger. And when they take time to pick up the messenger, they're missing the message. So I can get up here all pretty, all thick and scrumptious and, and rebunctious, however you want to say it, and get all with my hair, my wig all laid, or my natural hair out, my nails all did. But you know what? People will find an issue with the color of my lipstick, the color of my nails, the way I got my shirt buttoned. And when they're finding those issues with those things, they missing what the hell I'm saying. They're trying to pick apart the messenger and missing the whole freaking message. So 
That's why I prefer to come behind the screens like this because you ain't got nothing to pick apart. You might want to pick apart a little bit of my country accent, but this accent would definitely grow on you. Trust me, I know you, but ask the means. It would definitely grow on you. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just that type of person, but I refuse to let my message get tossed to the side or disregarded because you want to pick me apart because I got a string of hair sticking up. I got a little static or because, you know, I might have a little spinach on teeth. No, because what I'm doing is far more important. What I am doing is putting stuff back out here in the world that most people don't know and what most schools are cutting out. A lot of us, we talk a lot of shit, but we don't really get out there and try to make nothing happen. We'll talk all the shit about the schools, but we'll be at no school board meetings, barely be at the child damn PTO meetings, don't want to help the child with their damn homework. And if you do, shit, the child probably make an F off of what you did because you ain't get it yourself. So I'm just going to say it like this. Y'all will probably never see me. Like I said, before I even had 100 subscribers, I was getting death threats. Because the message I'm trying to get across, people don't want people to know. So, let's go ahead and see. I'm going to see if we can play this video on Thomas Jennings. Because, you know, some people might not have watched the video. So, if you haven't watched the video, I'm going to go ahead and play it. So, that way, if you have questions about that video or anything like that, we can discuss it. Um, not only will we discuss it. Um, but I also want to tell you all why I picked this video to play during this live. Um, it's just from the comments alone. So let me go ahead and go to it. And I want y'all to tell me if y'all can hear it once I start it. I'm going to do a little split screen. I'm just waiting on the computer to catch up. And while I'm waiting on that, let me buy this black and mild up. But anyway, um, what y'all smoking and drinking out? What is y'all smoking and drinking on? And ain't nothing wrong if you ain't smoking or drinking on nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, my cash app, Joanna, it is my name. I put it in my name right now that's on, on the screen because, um, my, like I said, my, subs, my, my moderators, they, they still learning. Like I said, we, they regular, smegular people. Like, we all learn to YouTube together. Um, and if you all feel compelled to bless me, I really do appreciate it. I mean, when YouTube start to bless me a little more, then I want to do so much overtime and I can be doing more for you all. But I ain't even going to lie y'all right now. Um, that's good, Juana Child. I need to start smoking. What you sipping on, girl? I mean, I ain't going to lie y'all. If y'all want to bless me, ooh, hush, nah, 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 won't he do it? I sure not take it. But, um, you know, once I start to make a little change in YouTube, I will cut back on the overtime hours and that way I'll be able to drop more videos and be able to interact with you all more and do all of that but she a, a girl be tired right now hell I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning I'm trying to get the body right before my birthday I told y'all was a council so y'all can figure that out and um I want to be on the beach like I told y'all my last one my ass gonna be on that beach in a damn two piece with some heels on sinking in the mother freaking sand. I don't care. I don't care. And I'm going to leave there and go to the grocery store that same two piece with them, them heels on. So with that being said, I get up at five in the morning, y'all. My day pretty much started. I got work. I might stay to work a little later. I get home. Well, I ain't going to lie. Before I leave here, I cook breakfast, y'all. I'm cheap. Well, I ain't cheap. I'm frugal. So I ain't going to be out there buying no breakfast and buying no Starbucks. So I'm going to get my coffee, make a popping. And I'm going to go in there, cook me a little breakfast, and I'm getting ready. When I go to work, go to work, do my day, I'm going to do a little extra because, you know, that insurance high. So I got the subside, that insurance cost with them overtime hours. Y'all, health insurance is a damn mess right now. But with that being said, I subside those costs with that. And that way, once I get off in the evenings, of course, you know, by then, shit, I'm tired as hell. But I still try to I be doing my research for my videos. And it takes a lot of research in the videos because I don't want to put out any false information. If I only see one source saying something, I'm not using the information. I need to see multiple sources, multiple ways that I can actually go and research this. I need to be able to research this information in a book, an old newspaper article. Y'all do know we still have libraries, right? You know, I mean, I'm just saying. Um, I had a comment today about, you know, how do I notice stuff I do? I said, it's all good research. So it takes 
days, weeks of research just for me to drop one video for y'all. Because I have to fact check on fact check on fact check on fact check. Because I don't want to get the message wrong. So it's definitely a lot to make a video for you all, but I love it. And like I said, I don't mind doing it. I've been working for the free 99 for over a year now, and that's definitely fine. I was scared that I wasn't going to get monetized, but I did. And y'all, I'm up to $5.30-something. Y'all know I can't pull it out so I get 100 but hey, I thank God for every penny. Okay, let's see if we can share this screen. And I want y'all to tell me if y'all can hear it. When I started, and then I'm, you know, I'm about to pull it back, but I want to see if y'all can hear this. And we're going to talk about it after I play it. Okay. And y'all going to see all my YouTube stuff on the side. Y'all, I, I love to be settled. Now, some of the stuff I hate that they be arguing and all that stuff, but, you know, I get it. Okay, so here we go. And let me make this big. I didn't want to move so I'll just see what it do. We'll give it a second. Now I'm gonna make that big and we're gonna play this video because after we play this video, we are going to discuss it. So you all let me know. If, if y'all can hear yeah. Can y'all hear it? I'm going to give y'all a second to comment. Can y'all hear the video that I'm playing or no? Oh, shoot. Drop my light on. No, y'all can't hear it, Lowe's. Okay, let's see what I can do. How I can fix that. Well, I paused it now. Um, Let's see. Hold on. Planet. Can y'all hear Okay, so I see you were saying that it was playing. So before I pause it, was it coming through a little better than y'all? Because I'm going to rewind and go ahead and play it back if it was coming through better. What y'all say? Oh, he said you could hear before we pause. Okay, no, Juwana, you shouldn't. Um, So I'm finna run it back and I'm I'm gonna try it again. When I try it again, so I won't have to stop it again because I'm gonna put y'all through the torture here in a thousand more times. Um, let me know if y'all can hear it just in the comments. Um, we're gonna play it right now.
Okay, so it's probably because I thought I could mute my thing and it would make it better for y'all. So I'm going to unmute my mic and um, Los, um, Joanna, as soon as this start playing and you all can, because um, like I said, my internet acting a fool. I can only do this when I'm online. And I got the highest damn one they got, so I'm just going to switch. But um, And my son played good gaming on it. He don't be complaining at all. He used to complain at the other house, but not here. So it just, you know, the deal would try to do that. Yeah, I ain't playing it yet, Juwan. I paused it. So now, this time, um, once y'all see the red line go up, if y'all don't hear that, let me know. I'm just going to play the sound from my other device. Um, you know what? Better yet, it might be better for me just to play the sound from my other device. And, you know, y'all could, there's not much of visual. The visual is just this picture, which is the reason why we are here to discuss this. So let's see if y'all can hear it from my second device well third device i got something to pull it up okay so let's try this and y'all like i said the visual is just this picture so you all ain't really missing nothing by me just playing the sound from my other device okay let's get this closer to y'all turn the volume all the way up okay so Y'all, let me know in the comments if y'all can hear this. Thomas L. Jennings. Thomas was born a free man in New York City, New York in 1791. Now, when Thomas was in his early 20s, he chose a profession as a tailor and soon opened his business. Now, while operating his business, Thomas developed a method called dry scouring which we know today as dry cleaning y'all heard that y'all heard what thomas invented can y'all hear it good i don't want to keep going if y'all can't hear it i see a thumbs up house of salt rock is that good I'm going to light up my herb after this now. Yes, love. Just lovely. He did. He started with dry scouring. So that let me know y'all can hear it loud and clear. So let me finish playing it. Thomas was the inventor of this method. And his method is what made him the first black man in history to receive a pet. Now receiving his pet. Y'all also heard that, right? He was the first black man in history to receive a patent. Now, he wasn't the first black man to invent some, of course, but most of the inventors were slaves. And if you were a slave, your inventions and everything that you created was the property of your master. So that's how a lot of inventions got taken away from us. And we, we're going to talk about it. Don't worry. But um, you all hear it loud and clear, right? If you can't, let me know in the comments, because I'm going to keep playing it. And it wasn't easy, and Thomas faced a lot of controversy. I mean, after all, at that time, slaves, they were not allowed to patent their inventions. Slaves were the property of their masters, and so were their inventions and ideas. And in 1793, U.S. patent laws stated that the master is the owner of the fruit of the labor of the slave, both manual and intellectual, and patent courts did not view slaves as citizens at this time. Now, since the slaves, they were not viewed as citizens, and the masters owned the fruit of their labor, and this also included all inventions that a slave created, slaves were not allowed to own any rights at all, especially not to inventions. But Thomas Jennings, remember, he wasn't a slave at all. Remember, he was born a free man. So Thomas, on March the 3rd, 1821, he was awarded U.S. Patent 3306X for his discovery of the process we know as dry cleaning. Thomas gained exclusive rights to his invention, and he made a profit from it. Thomas was also a very passionate abolitionist at this time. 
And he used the money that he made from his invention to fund abolitionist causes and free the rest of his family from slavery. Thomas also served as assistant secretary of the first annual convention of the people of color when they met in Pennsylvania in June of 1831. And in 1861, patent rights were finally extended to slaves. Thomas L. Jennings, 1791 to 1856. All righty. So, y'all know me. I have to give you a little backstory if you watch my videos. You know, I'll give you a little backstory before we proceed. So, yes, Thomas, he did. He was a, a great inventor. Um, I said he, he broke history. He pretty much was the first black man to receive a patent. Not the first black man to invent anything, but the first one to receive a patent. Hold on, y'all. My little cushion coming off my earphones. Give me two seconds. I'm going to mute real quick, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, y'all. So I'm back. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to talk about this particular video with Thomas Jennings is because if you notice this picture, this picture has also been used for a Jamaican hero named Paul Boogle. And that's what someone commented on my video. They were like, well, that's the picture of Paul Boogle. Now, where it gets a little controversial at is because it has not, the Jamaican government, they have not authenticated this picture as Paul Boogle. So if you were to look up Paul Boogle or Thomas Jennings, you're going to see the same picture. Now, most people didn't even know this until Steve Harvey. He did this Black History special. And in this Black History special, he showed this picture. And of course, we know that Steve Harvey and this, that, and the third. And he showed this picture as Thomas Jennings because that's what we know him as in America. Now, when Steve Harvey showed this picture, they made a TikTok video. The TikTok video, it went somewhat viral. And, and you know, there was a lot being said about it. So I just want to read to y'all a few things about it. But I'm just going to be honest with you all. The reason why I kept my picture up that goes with my video is because this is what we have as Thomas Jennings. And with that being said, y'all, I'm going to be honest. I don't believe hardly half of the damn pictures they show us when it comes to black history. I mean, we got to think critically here. Do we actually think they gave a damn enough about black people to work hard to get it right? A lot of pictures and names are going to be wrong in history when it comes to our black people. I mean, look, y'all see, they don't give a damn about us. And they especially don't give a damn enough to sit there and make sure and ensure that they have the right images or the right names and different stuff like that. That's why when I say I do my research, I have to really do my research. And I did know that this was said about this picture. But the fact that the Jamaican government has still to this day not authenticated whether or not this is Thomas Jennings is why I still kept my picture up. Now, the Jamaican government 
they they didn't really say much. They had like newspapers. They released articles and different things like that, saying, "Well, oh, the discussion and the debate should be over." Hey, Trey, how you doing? I've been waiting on you um, to do this, y'all. I know it's gonna look like we got a whole chat full of moderators right now, cause we ain't got but a couple people in here. And like I said, the streets is hot in the beef sector. Death man. Um, we good with what we got. We don't get but five people in here. We good with that, cause. The playback is good enough for me. So let me stop sharing. And once I stop sharing, um, let me go to, I need to go to my thing to make Trey a moderator. But um, while I'm doing that and waiting on that to come up, just to talk a little bit about the picture. So pretty much Paul Bogle is a Jamaican national hero. And the picture, like I said, that I showed you all to have for my video is said to have been him. But regardless of what picture is up, and I know that that's still the picture that is said to be Thomas Jennings, and the information has nothing to do with the picture. I know I want to put a visual up for you all so you all could get like an, an idea of who I was talking about, but that has nothing to do with the actual message that I'm giving because the facts are the facts for Thomas Jennings. The issue is we don't know who the hell picture this is. And I'm like, if the Jamaican government was so sure, which I'm not saying that they are, they might just be busy as hell. But if they were so sure, they've had years to correct this and authenticate this picture. Steve Harvey did that special in 2020. So Paul Bugle, like I said, he was a Jamaican hero. And me, myself, I would like to know the truth because I would like to give credit where credit is due to the right person. So Paul Bugle, like we said, um, he was, well, Thomas Jennings, he was born in January 1st, 1791, passed away in February of 1856. Now, Paul Bugle, he was born in 1822. And Paul Bugle, he was actually hung. He was hung during, um, during a rebellion. Not only that, he was one of 500 people who died during or shortly after after the, the rebellion, which was the Morant Bay Rebellion of that year. Now, with that being said, let's talk about this picture a little bit. When you Google Thomas Jennings, like I said, you're going to see this picture. Now, don't say, oh, I see it on Wikipedia. It must be right. They said, y'all don't believe Wikipedia. You can go and change Wikipedia yourself. So I get none of my information from Wikipedia. I learned that as a young age. But... What's interesting is, like I said, Steve Harvey, he did the 2020 episode of the Moments in Black History, and he showed this picture of Thomas Jennings. Oh, I'm sorry, I got to mute this other mic. Hold on. I need to pull it up to give Trey his stick. So we got y'all three right now. But um, he did, Steve Harvey, he did this special in 2020. Now, it didn't really get any national light, even with Steve Harvey doing the special, until the TikTok video. And y'all know TikTok is pretty much taking over. But I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't learned TikTok too good. I ain't trying to learn it. I did create a page for my channel, but I ain't been on there for y'all. So I got to go back and, you know, work on that. So let's see. Um, Let me find Trey. But the video, like I said, it went semi-viral. And what I wanted to highlight you on was there was also a, also a sculpture. Now, there was a woman that did a sculpture of Thomas Jennings that looked nothing like this picture. I'm sorry, of Paul Bogle. And it looks nothing like the picture that I showed you out of Thomas Jennings. Now, she's saying that she got it from, you know, a relative pose and all of that good stuff. But the, the underlying issue is the Jamaican government has not authenticated whether or not the picture that I showed you all, Thomas Jennings or Paul Bugle. So until they authenticate it, and you best believe I'm going to be watching and waiting, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Because like I said earlier, I don't think they gave a damn enough about black people and black history to double check their facts and make sure their T's was crossed and their I's were dotted to ensure that it was right. So we all know how we got treated when it came to black history and things of that nature. But I did want to say that. And in the end, we're going to open up the discussion for you all to 
Tell me what you all think about that photo. If you've heard anything about that or anything like that, because it just got by me. And some people, when they came through, they thought that I actually didn't know that. Yeah, I know that, but this is what we got right now. We're going to work with it. So close your eyes. Don't even look at the picture. Listen to the sounds that are coming out of my mouth. And that way you'll be good to go. And soon, y'all, I will be starting a podcast, you know, for the truck drivers and drivers and stuff out there that can't actually watch my visuals i'm going to be doing a podcast and you and probably um having some people on that podcast doing some back and forth and all of that stuff and um, when it comes to that but i said y'all it's, it's really weird when it came to that video and y'all would be shocked if y'all find out one day a lot of the pictures they're gonna do some digging harriet tubman sojourner truth rosa parks Y'all will be shocked if y'all find out that those aren't their pictures either. Like I said, they ain't give a damn about us enough to make sure they had it right when it came to the photos and things like that. But they could not take the credit from us when it came to the facts. They could not take the credit from Thomas because his patent is down there at the U.S. Patent Office. So they had to give him his credit. Now, they took the credit from the slaves. But Thomas was a slave, so they had to give credit what credit due. And also, if you pay attention to my video, I do my research so extensively. Extensively, I gave you all his patent number. And if you don't believe me, go look it up. But don't ever take what I'm saying as a word and as law. Do your own research. If I say something, take your time. Do your due diligence. Look up for that. You know, y'all walk around here with phones that cost more than my first car. Hell, my first car was $600, but it had some beat down. I love that damn car to death. But y'all got phones that cost more than my first car. So don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Use my word to get you started. You know, it's just that simple. But that's why I wanted to talk about that today because I wish that person that said that would have came through so that way they would understand why i left my picture up and why i didn't take my picture down and that brings me into what our lives are gonna be about so i ain't like i said i ain't gonna tear it too long i ain't gonna hold y'all too long in a minute we are going to yes um yes house so black black documents they were burned um they pretty much did a lot to wipe out our history they took a lot from us. A lot of people do not know that in Black Wall Street, look at my video. We're going to discuss a lot of it. Black people were the first ones to have the indoor plumbing. They owned more planes than the airport. And a lot of the massacres that I talk about, they started out from white women accusing black men of assault. Rosewood. Wall Street and several others. So you all definitely don't take my word for it at all. Do your due diligence, look it up, find the facts. And if you're instead of letting your kids watch all this BS on YouTube and all this BS on TikTok, let them listen to one of my videos and know their history. I'm teaching your kids something you ain't gotta teach them. So definitely, you know, I mean, I'm trying to take a burden off of y'all. Then your kids will know a little something, something, and they'll know their history. And I feel like the more we know about our history, the less chance of history repeating itself. Because if y'all don't know, y'all need to watch my video. History is repeating itself in the DR as we speak. Black folks, keep your black ass out of the DR right now. They are... They are taking black people as hostages, killing some black people and all of that in the DR right now because they're saying they're Haitians. They don't give a damn if they got proof that you're a Haitian. If your skin is dark enough, you going down with the rest of them. So please, black people, you might think I'm a little boring. It might not be what you want to hear, but if y'all can spend all day scrolling on Facebook, watching all that BS, I seen a cat damn video with about 20 million views. If y'all can watch a kitty cat, 
play a damn piano, which y'all know he ain't playing. Learn your history, black people. And if you learn your history and educate this youth, maybe history won't repeat itself. And if you don't believe me when I say history is repeating itself, look what the hell going on in the Dominican Republic. I did a, a video about it. Just take a little while. But don't worry, because the way I'm going to take this channel and the reason why I did another live tonight is because my lives, what I decided I'm going to do, I'm going to drop my videos. And after I drop my video, I'm going to give you all a few days to watch the videos. And after you all watch the videos, we're going to do a live and we're going to play those videos. We're going to pause them. We're going to discuss them and we're going to break them down because you all leave me a lot of great comments. But by the time I see them, you all are gone. You don't interact. Or, you know, it's just that I can't type all that I want in the comment section. You know, well, if you have a comment, if you have a question, if you have something you want to add, or if you, hell, if you just want to disagree, you'll be able to disagree with me in live, in person. You'll be able to comment to me in person. So that's what we're going to do with the live videos. So I'm going to give you all a video each. Each week, and we're gonna go live each week, and we're gonna discuss that video. Of course, after you all had time to watch it, I'm gonna give you all some days. Um, but if you haven't had a chance to watch the video, no worries, because we're gonna be playing it and breaking it down during the discussing it. And so that's pretty much why I came live today. Like I said, I'm not really for the lives at all, but I did talk to my people after the last live, and they were like, you know, you should. And I told them what I would do if I decided to do lives, and they agree with me on that. So hopefully, you know, I get more people to visit by and all of that stuff. Like I said, I don't give a darn if it's but one person in here, one is enough for me. As long as I ain't in here talking to my damn self. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop the link. If you all want to click the link, come on up. Let me know what you think about the Thomas Jennings situation. Also, um, if you got any suggestions that you want to make as far as um, other videos that you want to discuss. And we're not going to get into the other videos tonight because I already held y'all about an hour or so. And I know we all got to get up in the morning. And I don't want the playback to be too long. But let me know. So let me go ahead and drop the link. Um, if anybody wants to hit this link, go ahead and hit the link. Come on up. Let's chat about it. Let's discuss it. And always remember... We can't agree to disagree. We ain't the same damn person. So you might not agree with what I say. And I might not agree with you. But guess what? We can't agree to disagree and keep the hell on pushing. So I just dropped my link. You all let me see. Y'all know I got to learn how to work the banner and all that good stuff. But yeah, y'all come on up. Let's chat about it. We gonna, I'm going um, to probably... Be up here for like 10 more minutes or something like that. Because, of course, like I said, you're good. Got to get up at 5 in the morning. And I'm on Eastern Standard Time. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Y'all already know how that goes. So, let me light up my smoky smoke while y'all go ahead and hit the like. Oh, I heard that pop. There go my boo halos. Let's let you in. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, Los, I unmuted you, but you on mute. You did. I ain't. I, they say I can't unmute you because you chose to mute yourself. You don't get on mute. There you go. Can you hear me now? I can hear you went out just a little bit, but I, I think it was just because you was just getting here. Um, there we go. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all like this. I had to do my disclaimer because I ain't do it for my herb earlier. Let me tell y'all something. I can go and plant that seed out there and it's going to grow just like that goddamn tree and that rose bush out there. And you can't tell me that something is good and therapeutic in California, but it's illegal in Georgia. If it's bad for me, it's bad for me regardless of what them state I'm in. So with that being said, I'm going to go on mute, light up my herb, and let Los tell us what's up. But why are you going on mute? We need to have a conversation. I love it. So I didn't oh, I know that about Thomas. Oh, gotcha. 
I didn't know that about Thomas Jennings. So that's that, you know, it's so important what you're doing, right? Hello, boo. You got to mute your TV in the background. We can barely. Oh, hold on, boo. Hold on. Hold on. You know, you got that, that, that big screen bike now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that loud, my dear. Um, I had on my head in my earbuds. So this is important what you're doing here. Um, my what I do, what I focus in is, you know, the African continent, right? Trying to reconnect the East and the West, right? Because most people, most African Americans have very little knowledge of anything historically really other than somewhat surface level understanding of slavery, right? They don't realize that when slaves they were brought- They don't wanna know. Well, it's, it's weird, like why wouldn't you wanna know? You know, there are people who come here to do, there are people who come here to assist those who are doing, and there are those who come here to neither assist or do. They just come here to watch, right? And it's sad, but it's important that they understand that the slaves that were brought to this country were not just regular slaves. They were engineers. They were doctors, they were plumbers, they were mm. um, mechanics, they were, they did this teachers. stuff in Africa, teachers, um, midwives, you know, mm -hmm. it, they came to this country and they put them into bondage and put them into servitude to build what we see here today. Thank you for the super chat, Trey. I got my first super chat, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I got to find so. some music so to play for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what's interesting about what you say, Rose? Mm -hmm. I did a video. It's like, I got to do my part four, which is going to take us through the Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman, and, you know, the, just a great escape. I mm -hmm. talked about that in one of my videos. Just how prosperous, how prosperous, I'm sorry, the black people were. I mean, they they were pretty much they were so wealthy. Um the when they went over there and got those slaves, they got riches, so different things. And they pretty much took back a lot of the knowledge with them that they did not know. So the the Africans, they were way ahead of the Americans in those times. And I, I teach Africans all of that in just a slavery chapters alone. Yeah, Africa gave the world what it is because it is the cradle of life, right? So everything that is came from Africa, period, regardless of how you look at it. The research has proved that the oldest fossil was yes, found sir. on the continent of Africa. So everything that people are today is because of Africans. Right, which we are descendants in the diaspora of those African slaves, right? And what what See, we're now you what got me want to break down the slavery videos, honey. I'm I'm here for it. I, I'm all here for it, right? So because they I, have to yeah, understand I that, right? They they have yeah, to. Understand. I was gonna break down a new one, but you think I need to start there? So here, here's how I'm thinking. I'm thinking that people really need to start with the point that they know, right? Which is slavery. Mm -hmm. And then you bring in how, you introduce to them how the slaves were wealthy engineers and kings and pharaohs and queens and they they had this stuff in their brains we work on an oral tradition right we tell our history and but we have these things in our brains that we brought with us to this country that the white people found and exploited so 
they're going to get angry with white people and they're going to have to go through that phase of that anger to deal with it and understand that without transatlantic slave trade, we would have not made it from the continent in the masses that we have, right? We had already gotten over here, but that was a big movement of a large quantity of Africans, right? Which spread our lineage across the world. That's how we've been disseminated. And with that dissemination, we're, we're not going to be extinct unless we don't wake up and pay attention and see that. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. I mean, Black people don't even know a lot of the health issues that we have, hypertension and all of that, comes from our genetics, from our ancestors being just on that slave ship alone. So I definitely Absolutely. agree with you. And mm -hmm. that's why I was going to start with my most recent video that I did about the Vicksburg massacre and all of that. I was going to break that down this week. But no, we're going to start from the beginning. We mm -hmm. are going to start from slavery and then we will get into the rest of it because we need to go back for you all to understand where we're going forward. Yeah. You, the only way to know where you're going is to know where you come from and the closest point of which you come from. That's why I tell everybody. You need to know your DNA because once you do your DNA, that reconnects you with the continent. And then you can learn to navigate your way around Africa, which is 54 countries, right? They just, yes, yes, when, yes. when people say Africa, they just think it's one place. No, it's 54 different countries that have, tribe, that have, that have tribes within them. So I did a talk last week and um, I taught at a conference. You write the last, I taught at a conference last week, and I talked about the point that you just made. I told them that African Americans have a problem with hypertension because of genetic mutation from being in the bottom of slave ships, sloshing around in salt water for months. So in order for us not to perish at sea, our body had to mutate for our survival. So the stock that's here in America are very stone, strong, sturdy stock of people, right? Because we made it across an ocean in the bottom of a ship for months in salt water. We gave birth, we died, yep. all yes. of that in the bottom of this boat for eight months for six months while we're shipped like Assaulted, cattle. Laid in your child, you lay in your um your 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 neighbor's species, urine, sweat, blood, Vomit, tears. whatever it you was. You might have got a drink of water. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they, they mainly got a drink of water when they was dashing down the deck of the ship. They weren't giving them no water. Mm -hmm. They was trying to clean all that mess out the ship and you might have got a little sprinkle of water in your mouth if you were smart mm -hmm. and lucky. So that's why I said they don't understand. And I'm not saying it because I don't want to up, bro. I don't want anybody mad. But I feel like we know everybody else's history. Let's learn our own because guess what, y'all? If you don't teach your kids, these teachers ain't teaching y'all kids this no more. They got the backing of the government to say the hell with your kid and they history. I, I say this. This is how I look at it. I say I am not anti-white but i am pro-black because i'm black first i'm african amen first i'm not anti-white but i am amen because when you see me you see my skin yes because if, so, if you look at me before i open my mouth before you know what i got you're gonna see my skin first my hair texture first before any of my credentials get recognized you're going to see me as a black woman. So I'm black mm -hmm. first. And I want to say this real quick and I'm going to go on mute and let you talk. Another thing, like I said, I don't have anything against white people. Um, mm -hmm. Do not come to my channel bashing them because we will not hold them accountable for what their ancestors did. Because I'd be damned if you're going to hold me accountable for what my ancestors did. I don't know them damn people. I don't know what the hell they did and I'm not paying for it. So that's not what we do over here. But what I will say, another thing, what we do have to wake up and see. And I saw a post the other day and it kind of pissed me off a little bit. 
But I was like, girl, calm down, let it go. The biggest thing that they have done to eradicate the black race is to turn the the black man against a black woman. If the black man, the black woman are turned against each other, guess what they cannot do? Procreate. They cannot procreate and produce black children. If everybody's reaching outside of their race for a mate, eventually we are going to become extinct. It's going to be a mix up. We're all going to be biracial, ambiguous. I have nothing against that, but like you said, I'm also pro-black. To where I want all my seeds to be in the black generation. I ain't got nothing against those who right. do that, but y'all got to understand we slowly wiping ourselves out. So before you go on mute, do what you need to do, right? But here, so that is so funny, right? This is a, the part that people are going to go through where they're going to feel the anger with white people when you, when you see that, right? But Black will never go extinct, right? And we have to look at that because I don't care how much you breed and breed and breed and breed and breed. Okay, so I don't know. I don't care how much you breed something. I guess you could. It could go extinct. I retract that, but it's going to be very hard because what you're going to find with those with the mulatto individuals or the multiracial individuals, they're going. At some point down that line, they're going to be attracted back to the opposite of them, right? So if you're a mulatto, at you some point, but at some point, you're going to go back black, right? You're going to, at about some it, though. point down the we generational already got line. Us. Think about it, though. We already can't say we pure black because we don't know what happened all the way down back the line. So if we, you know, mix so, up with the mulatto and then go back, I mean, you know. So here's how I look at that as well, right? With the practice that I practice, the culture that I'm in, I have to honor all of my heritage, all of my ancestral line, right? Because without them, there would be no me, right? So that means that I have Nigerian, um, Senegalese, Mali, English Irish, which was oh my god, so hard for me to like deal with my English, not English Irish, English Wales. No, it was English. I can't remember what the other one was, but it was Scottish and Irish, right? Or Wales or whatever it is. So to understand that the Caucasian race had gotten in there, which I knew somebody had gotten in the wood stack. It, it's in all of Of us, course. Right? It's, just, it's in my bloodline. Just so like that's why I'm trying to keep black it as close to black as I can. Line. I mean, Africans yeah, in their bloodline because it was the cradle of life, right? So yes. when you, you have to get a grasp on that, and the only way to get that grasp is to be faced with that hard information. Like I still have never watched Roots. I've never watched Shout Roots. I just can't. I was a just, long ass movie. Oh my god! But it's it's like it's good movie. Like that slavery <laughs> at its core, right? I can't bring myself to watch that because I don't want to see how my ancestors were tortured by also the. I, my ancestors were the ones being tortured and my ancestors were the one doing the torturing. So what is the, the perplexity in that? Because I'm That's why I said don't get mad at the white people because guess what? Black yeah. people, they did a lot to black people too. It's just that it well, was way back in the day to where a lot of it wasn't recorded. So I get it, you know, definitely. But you call us, you know the saying, Los, you know the saying, if they can't use your comb, don't bring them home. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm gonna love my daughter in law. Crazy. <laughs> I don't dabble. What you know that said? Can you come? Don't bring them home. I don't dabble in the other <laughs> pond. It's fun. They but, have their perks and their pros and their. I fun. will. Uh, but I don't know if I want to procreate. I don't, I don't know. Let me let me stop lying. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's I'm so to the fact that I don't discriminate. A dude could be black, white, Haitian. Puerto Rican, short, tall, chubby, skinny. I like the person. It's the person. So it's not, I ain't telling y'all if you don't like another race, you can't be with another race. 
but I still stand on the fact that I believe that is the biggest scheme yet to turn the black man against the black woman. And then you definitely eradicate the black race. Probably not now, probably not 50 years from now, probably not a hundred years from now, but in a thousand years, it may happen. And the thing, what they were posting was about this black guy marrying a Filipino woman. Nothing wrong with the Filipino women. Have no issue with that. But when I looked at the way that they were wearing it up, I was like, nah, because look, they want pretty much a servant. And I look at it like this. Um, I can get that a man <laughs> don't want just a woman with a fat ass and nothing else off. I get that. Ain't nothing wrong with one nobody you equally yoke with. But I am not going to take your shit just because you're a man. If I, I got to get my black ass out there and work, you do too. If I'm out there working, I be damned if I'm coming home cooking all the meals. Hell, nigga, I'm tired too. I work just wow. as hard as you work. And if you want me to pay out for the bills and I ain't no housewife, we going to get our ass in there together and cook or we going to take turns. I ain't washing all the clothes. I ain't doing all the dishes. But guess what? I will even help you. Do the, the yard work. I like yard work. I don't mind pushing them more. But we're gonna be 50 50. We're gonna be 50 50. If I pay any goddamn bills, we splitting all that shit down the middle. House working everything. Well, here's the thing about that. I think we have to look at okay, so that's the, the problem is that society, because I see it, it's such a much. That's a young Lavanzant's word. It's such a much that. You've got every commercial now you're looking at, it's it's white and black. It's such a much, it's a great thing. Yes, we're working on cultural diversity. Yay, perfect, cool, whatever, right? However, what we as African-Americans have to do is figure out how to reach one, teach one, right? So we have yes. to, to figure out a way of how to get them away from the music that is talking down about our own kind and get them towards music that's talking about unity. Because the Motown singers and the, the, the people singing about the situations going on and trying to unify the people are gone, right? So we have to work on reunifying the people in order to save the people. You're breaking up, Lowe's. Oh. So we have to work on reunifying the people to save the people. And the first thing you got to do is get them yes. away from that music that's being pushed by the opposite race. It's so hard. like, And it's, it's definitely pushed because they'll push that. Excuse me. You know they're no more love songs. Nothing like they push that to the fullest. So, and not only that, the imagery we got. Every girl thinks she's supposed to snatch waist, a BBL body, a face full of makeup, all of that. But baby girl, let me tell you something. Holly Berry got cheated on. Beyonce got cheated on. So I don't care how fine you are. How snatch your body is, if he ain't gonna do right, he ain't gonna do right. They're messing up their bodies, they're messing up their self to try to put up this Instagram image. So it's a lot of work we have to do with our race. But mm -hmm. you know, and like I said, you know, my motto each one teach one. If I could reach one, I'm just fine. So, so in order for them to under much I look at it, but you're absolutely right. So, in order for them to understand Thomas Jenkins, they've got to understand that other stuff. <laughs> And that's a big thing, and Jenny people Thomas don't want to wake. Yeah, they they don't want to wake up to it because mm -hmm. it's too much work. It's too complicated. Yeah, but see, uh, I'm trying to do the work for them. All you got to do is pop in your damn earbuds and listen. I'm mm -hmm. doing the research for you. I'm doing the hard work for you, and I'm even giving you something nice to look at when I'm doing it. So pop your darn earbuds in and listen. And that way, when you listen to something, it stick with you. Tell your children, tell your nieces, tell your nephews. You might not reach out them, but you might get through the one. So I don't want to hog up the time if there's anybody else that wants to talk. But that's what no, I don't want. The link, but I'm going to get off in a minute, too, though. Okay, so yeah. that's that's yeah. what I wanted to say, right? Because I kind of understand where you're going where you're at i i think the information that you're giving is great right but how do they put it together 
that's what I'm here for. And that's what these lives are going to be for. Because I realized that just dropping videos, most people aren't going to be on the same intellectual level that I am. They're not going to be able to put it together like I do. And they might be putting it together totally wrong. I don't know. Or they might be putting it together better. So that's the purpose of the lives. So when I do drop a video, we will discuss it. That way we can all be on one page with it. Maybe they'll know something I don't know. Maybe we can talk a little bit more than we could in the video or the comments. Because I try not to make the videos too long. So they will watch them. So that way, that's how we're going to put it together. That's why I'm here tonight. And that's why I say I will be doing more live videos. So we can put it all together. But before we do end, I did want to say one last thing. Social media. Social media has changed everything to where the kids don't even go outside anymore. Relationships are going to hell. Mm -hmm. Social media. It's like, can can you even have a happy marriage now with social media? It's actually like, anti-social media. It's anti-social it's media because it's completely opposite of being social. It is being isolated in a room, making comments, on Facebook, oh, sorry, can't name that, on these different platforms, right? Your man. Why oh, you can't say Facebook? Oh, I don't know if that was like one of those bad words. So. Child, um, I don't know, know what word. I just said bad. I just feel like as long as they don't strike me, they could demonetize. Hell, I'm looking for the free not to nine anyway. So uh, I'm going to get my mess well, across whether I make money off it or not. I'm going to talk. I'm sorry. It, it, that's antisocial. The opposite of social. It social is. means interaction talk. with person to person. You are so right. Oh, I got to say this. We're going to go for real for real this time now. But you okay. are so right because you notice you can get kids in a room at a party and nobody mm -hmm. socializing, talking to each other. Everybody looking down on their damn phone. You yeah. sitting right next to all these people. And yeah. everybody head down on the phone. You're not getting to know this person. You're not talking to this person. All you're doing is looking down at your phone. It's, it's, you're they're right. addicted. They're absolutely addicted to being antisocial and self-absorbed. They're addicted. And that is an addiction. It. Swipe, 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 swipe. Light, 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 light. Those likes snap, they snap, produce. Snap, snap, they snap, designed snap. Facebook for those likes to produce some type of euphoria. To where mm -hmm. you're getting that, you get it's actually somebody going on in y'all body when y'all get them likes, whether y'all know it or not. And they designed it that way. That's why the people who designed it, guess what? They either don't let their kids get on it or they limit them on it. So yeah. the very people who designed that Facebook for you, they kids, they feel like are too good to be on it. That's a dopamine. So if your baby is going to be brain. on it, <clears throat> that's a happy. Yeah, the dopamine and the dopamine euphoria really and all of that. Is. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I could definitely addicted. back that up with research, y'all. Yeah, and it's like when you get one like, when you get a lot of likes, you you look at what the next thing you could do more outlandish, the way you can get more, and then you want to get more, and then you see these fools be doing stupid stuff, going, going to jail, and all that stupid mm -hmm. stuff over a like. And the thing about it is, is this anti-social media. Yeah, it's a mess, y'all. <laughs> it's not it is. it's probably it not is. even true it is anyway it's probably filtered they're probably yeah. in an airbnb they're probably you, you just I, it's so antisocial it's so one-dimensional and yeah. people are looking at this exactly. as fact and it's not Exactly. Nobody's going to show you when they're at their worst. They ain't going to show you when they 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 looking all rough, can't get their head did, when they ain't got no gas. In they, they're going to show you the highlight reels and the best of their lives. They're not going to show you the bad stuff. So you look at them like, darn, they're doing this, they're doing that, because all you see are the highlight reels. Because guess what? I ain't going to put all my damn dirty laundry on social media. So, of course, all you're seeing is the good stuff. So, your mind is tricked thinking that, oh, that's goals. That's couple goals. But as soon as they ask on social media, they end up fighting like cats and dogs. Or oh, he cheating mm -hmm. out of both draws legs. Or oh, her cheating yeah. out of both draws legs. That's why I say, y'all, 
it's a lot that we're gonna discuss. And the reason why I decided to go live is because I feel like I can't get that out in the comment sections. So I'm gonna put up a post for you all to pretty much tell me which video you want to discuss. You know what? Now I think I might just do the slavery because we need to start from the beginning and move on up. So I think I'm gonna do slavery chapter one. Um, and we're gonna start there. And I will be dropping the chapter part four, and that's gonna be with the Underground Railroad, the Great Escape, and all of that. So with that being said, y'all, I mean, we get pretty ready to wrap it up. And I'm just going to be honest. I might sound a little bit different on my lives and on my videos, but what you're getting is the raw, uncut version of me. I'm not for everybody, and everybody damn show sure ain't for me. So if mm -hmm. it ain't what you like, keep, keep on pushing it. If it is, keep supporting. Los, you got any last words? I second that motion. Live adjourned. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it okay y'all with well, good night I got to get up earlier um, y'all have a good beautiful night thank y'all for dropping through and, and I definitely hope you all catch the playback and until next time peace love and blessings